Alright guys, um, yeah, I don't know really exactly what the main plan for today is. We're kind of bouncing around right now, looking for mullet schools. We just left a flat that we normally fish, but there was no signs of life on it. Um, no mullet, didn't see any reason to stay there. So we went and found some new territory here, putting out some live baits and some more, uh, some cut baits here. Seeing some mullet work just ahead of us. So definitely better signs than the last spot we were just at. But we're gonna give this spot, you know, 15 or 20 minutes and just keep working around these mullet schools, looking for life. So today the tides definitely was not in our favor. We got a really late start this morning because it was gonna be a super low tide and we weren't we're gonna recap what we had the other day while having to walk the boat back on <laughs> and then out of the spots. That kind of makes for a rough day. So <clears throat> we went to go look at our normal flat. It was deader, deader than a door now. There wasn't a mullet to be found, hardly any bait. So we packed up and we decided to move a little bit farther south, looking at some new area we fished in the past and produced. And we roll up here and there's actually bait sitting around and mullet popping off. And so hopefully this is gonna be a little bit better than what we were fishing. We fished the other spot for about 30 minutes and didn't even get a nibble. We just, you know, here's a, Looks like it's gonna be better, but looks can be deceiving. So we got some live baits out right now on corks and cut baits soaking and throwing a couple arts here and there, just messing around, waiting for the tide to start really flowing because the tide just started coming in. So we're kind of working with low water right now, but we'll see what happens. Keeping our fingers crossed. Oy. That would have been money if it ended up in the tree. Go, baby. Get him. Get him. Get him. Ooh, that's a good one. There he is. All right. That's about a better redfish. Finally. Oh, it feels like forever. I was getting worried too. <laughs> no, I'll boat flip him. He's not that big. That's a better red. No? Yeah, that's about, that's a decent red. All right, we're gonna get a measure on this, guys. We're gonna see what he measures out to be. 22? 22. Not a bad red. Not a bad redfish. We'll get him in the water. Oi. Oh. I've got shorter arms than you. This is harder to do. <laughs> Called a quick release, y'all. Try something a little different. A little live pinfish with his tail cut off. That was knocked the living crap out of that freaking cup bait, man. Oh. Holy crap, dude. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Not that big, but ah. just leave it. All right, guys, that's redfish number two. In this spot, we've been looking for fish all day and finally found some. Nothing monstrous. They're like slot fish, you know, 18 to 20 is what we've been finding them at. It's number two and. Pretty happy about it. He ate a little live pinfish. I caught one on cut bait and then this guy just ate a tiny live pinfish. I cut the tail off for him. Gorgeous little guy. You guys, we're gonna let this guy go. He didn't fight with me very long, so. Gone. Dude, I've been just trimming the tail. Like, it's weird. I don't know if that was just a once over. Like, I don't know. I just tried it, it worked. This little bugger doesn't wanna stay in there. Oh, tide slack right now. Oh. <laughs> I watched him eat it. I pulled it and he came out and went wham. I was like, oh man, <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> man, that little guy was freaking ferocious. 
That was awesome. All right, guys, so I literally pulled that bait just a little bit to get him to move, and that freaking redfish darted out of the mangroves and just slammed him. Oh, that was awesome. All right, all right, little guy. Let me get you back in the water. They're giving you no time. Oh. I got one. Finally got one. <laughs> Get on out there, guy. Oh, man. He's out. Oh, Renner. Come on. Oh, where are you going? Where are you going, crazy? Dude, he's not happy. Oh. Up. Up. You done yet? Come on. Oh, he's not done. Come on. In the boat. All right, well, we've been running around all day looking for fish. This is our last ditch effort spot to try to catch something. We fished this spot a lot in the past. Haven't really fished it much lately, but figured we'd finally give it a try and finally producing nice circle hook there right in the corner of this guy's mouth so Dustin will show you guys in a minute kind of what we're doing we're using cut baits and we're using um, different type of I guess you could say cut bait on how we're catching these guys but it seems to be working right now Twenty two, just over 22 we'll call it 22 Little 22 incher here. They're not monsters right here, but right now me and Dustin are just happy to catch anything at this point. <laughs> We've been grinding all day for some of these. There he goes. All right, guys. So all I'm doing with these baits is I'm taking this pinfish, I'm cutting the dorsal fins off, and then I'm cutting the anal fins off, and then I'm taking the tail and cutting the tail off and what that does is causes some crazy vibration in the water because they have a hard time swimming like that all i'm doing is hooking them through the back and sending them against the mangrove line and then holding on and then they swim all crazy and vibrate and just nuts <laughs> that was awesome All right, guys, there's another about 22, yeah, about a 22 inch red. Just seems like a school of them sitting there just eating a little live pinfish with the tail cut off it, basically. They've been slapping them. Get this guy back in the water. We're gonna see if we can't get on some more. All right, this guy back in. Yeah, buddy. And he's gone. So yeah, this literally been pitching right here, right against the mangroves right there, and just been getting slapped. It's been, uh, it's, it's been productive. What is that, number four, I think? Four or five redfish so far since we've been in this spot. And they seem to like those little live cup, uh, little live pinfish right now. It's all, we've got a cup bait soaking right now and they haven't touched it. So today they're liking the little, little live pinfish. We keep tossing them till they stop biting. All right, guys, so that's going to wrap it up for the day. I think we got five, six redfish, nothing. It wasn't a crazy good day, but with all the storms and everything we have going on in Florida right now, you know, we've grounded out, made something happen. Hope you guys liked the video. Hopefully, uh, hopefully you guys can try out that new kind of new way I showed you to do the pinfish and see if that works for you guys for, for redfish in your guys' area. If you guys haven't already, hit the like button and hit the subscribe button. Catch you guys in the next one.